Hello, Sean here again. In this video, let us talk about email direct response marketing. In this video, it is going to be very simple. We will talk about three main things. How to get others into the list, how to convert hot leads, and how to nurture the relationship. And when it comes to getting others into the list, we have to first give them a reason. Why? Through lead magnets and opt-in form. Or make them buy by bring some type of value in pay subscriptions such as welcome offers. TCE power word triangle by Perry Marshall. T stands for traffic, C stands for conversion, E stands for economy. In order to sell something, you have to get traffic. Then you have to convert the traffic. Economics means you have to make some money on what you sell, which is why you went into business in the first place. When you make the profit, you reinvest it by getting more traffic and converting the traffic and further improving your economy. And here are some of the following traffic sources that you can utilize to get them on the email list. Great contents which is going to be organic and make sure to use these following principles of leadership, entertainment and call to actions when it comes to writing your contents for your organic reach. Paid, adver paid advertisement is basically Using the uh, great contents, but you are actually paying money to reach out to those who are not aware of you in first place. And make sure when you are using the paid advertisement, you want to hook them by first four second. Because as a Jordan Belfort, who is the Wolf of Wall Street, talks about, every first impression is determined within the four second. So within the four second, you want to make the strong impact on the people who you are going to be watching your video or advertisement. And it has to be value focused as well. Rather than go by pitch, 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 you want to focus on giving them a true value that they will find it useful. And at the end of those value video, you want to end with a call to actions where you direct them, you redirect to, redirect them to the landing page with opt-in form. Another smart thing that you can do is the uh, taking advantage, taking leverage of the host and beneficiary relationship through either partnership, joint venturing, or affiliate. And also, when it comes to getting a partnership, think about how does your marketing add value to their list as well. Remember, quality over quantity. Next, next let's go about the how to convert hot lists. Getting emails open and read. And there are three factors that is responsible for whether email will be open or not. Who, what, delivery. Remember, the sender is the most important for the open rate. No matter how important the subject line and the value, the value of the content is, if, you, if they don't trust you as a sender, they are not going to open the email. So let's say they trust you enough to open the email because of their catchy subject lines. It can be their commercials that they be beneficial and get a rose of curiosity. At the same, it could be personal as well. When it comes to deliverability, it is going to be more like the um, uh, technical stuff where it involves the email service provider, ESP, low spam score, as well as other variable factors that I cannot talk about in this video. And another factors that is responsible for converting hot leads will be auto responder campaigns. Welcome sequences and the behavior engagements are the uh, two big factors of the autoresponder campaigns. When it comes to welcome sequences, the purpose is to convert hot leads right away, at the same time to warm up cooler leads. And when it comes to three pillars of a story selling, there are three big factors which are character, story, and selling. So when you are typically writing an email, you want to incorporate these three strategies where characters are characterized as a leadership who are taking initiative. And when it comes to story, it has to be entertaining. Because people, if the people don't find the, your stories or your email entertaining, they are not going to, it's not going to resonate with their heart that strongly. And at the end, when it comes to presenting your call to actions, you want to ask the you want to ask what makes you credible, what makes you unique, and how you can solve the problem. Another behavior engagement is based on opens and clicks and website visit. And list segmentation is based on based on their actions, you are segmenting them into the different subject lines. Next component is to how to nurture the relationship. 
he did, we have to focus on building a long term relationship. As the um, I forgot his name. I think it was the uh, Timothy Ferris who wrote the uh, Four Hour Work Week, and he f- uh, one of his chapter focuses on building a one thousand true fans. Because if you have successfully built the one thousand true fans, those fans will make another refers, and that will go on and go on, and you will have an exponential effect to for your companies and your services. So. Building a long-term relationship is so much more, so much more, 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 more important than building a short-term revenue. That's the one thing that you want to keep in mind all the time. And you can also broadcast emails and consistency is the key. You want to send out email at least three to four times a week with no pitch, basically focusing on value. At the same time, there's a formula called VC plus CO equals PM. VC stands for valuable contents. CO stands for compelling offer, meaning 80% of valuable contents plus 20% of the compelling offers result in very profitable email marketing. Another thing that you keep in mind when it comes to nurturing the relationship through email marketing is why? Keeping considering is why they read. Because they sign up for the value and stay to engage with you. Therefore, your email always should have as discussed leadership, entertainment, and call to an actions. As well as when it comes to selling your services from the uh, call to an actions, you want to have a compelling offers to sell. Goal is to get the click with the benefit and curiosity factors and also make sure to deliver value in selling message and send to a conversion focused landing page. At the same time, when you're measuring success, there are following factors you want to consider, such as list size, opens, click-through rates, engagement, site visit, value per month per month, lifetime value. So this video basically sums up the overall outline of the email marketing campaigns and details will be talked about in later videos. I hope this video was very comprehensive when it comes to the introduction of the email marketing. And if you find this video useful, you can like this video. and. If you find if you find any others who might find this video helpful, you feel free to share this video with others as well. And this was Sean Jung, and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video.